So it seems that Hero Academia and Studio Bones is under attack by the Puritans again. Now what is the clown mob attacking them over this time? It's not female characters' chest sizes. It's not characters' names or birthdays. Oh no, no, no. This time, it's the animation. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, <laughs> the clown show continues. And this time, they're attacking Hero Academia over its own animation. This is what somebody had to say about this, with these Twitter Puritans attacking the animation. Man, y'all are so effing ungrateful. Stop effing over-exaggerating about something that lasted like five seconds worth of an episode. Way to undermine how difficult and time-consuming animating can be. If Studio Bones sucks so much, D, how about you do yourselves? <laughs> and so, you know, here is what this person was saying. The Puritan over here, this clown, was going, Bones, what the F? Because apparently they're upset that it doesn't completely align with the manga panel. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not <laughs> sadly not kidding. Since it doesn't completely align with the manga panel, they're upset over it. And so they have to go after it and attack it. So here is how it looked in the anime. This is the full screen shot of what it looks like in the anime. So when it debuted, and honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, like there's nothing really to be upset over. But no, leave it to them to be so butt hurt and so offended because, oh no, it's so not good. This is terrible animation. How dare you! You know, that's, that's basically the way that they see it. That's what they're doing here. And so, if you look at the comparison, here is the manga. Now, yeah, the manga does look better, but I think the animation looks fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And, but, you know, to them, they have to attack it. Because, you know, they gotta, they always gotta find something wrong, right? You know, it can't ever be, oh man, it looks great, you know, good job animating it. Oh, no, 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 now it's, it's gotta be, oh man, it doesn't line up with the manga perfectly, you're not perfect, so how dare you? You know, how dare you not be perfect, how dare you? <laughs> you know, that's, that's basically what it is. Taking a look at the tweets here, this is what this person had to say. Feels good to be right long ago and calling out how pretty disappointing Bones has been this whole season and the people that said I was wrong agreeing with me. To the people that are mad that I'm complaining about how poorly drawn a simple still frame was done, I'm sorry you have low standards for well-known animation companies. Okay, bro. And this is a response to shut the F up. You're literally nitpicking nothing. So my favorite manga will never have an adaptation half as good as My Hero Academia's. And you're grasping at straws trying to make the My Hero Academia anime look bad. When this frame looks just like the epic manga. Appreciate what you have. See, here's the thing. These aren't fans, right? This person right here that's complaining over the animation, this is not a fan. Can guarantee you right now that they don't care anything for Hero Academia. That they just kind of throw this stuff out there because, you know, they didn't pick whatever. They try to find whatever they can wrong with it. I mean, we've seen it happen multiple times with Hero Academia. They complained. And it's funny. You know, I'm going to get into some of these things they've complained about prior. But, you know, when you see this, you just think, there's no way you're a fan. I mean, look at this. Read the Hero Academia manga. It's well drawn. Things are heating up, too, in the recent arcs. I mean, yeah, it's it's getting good. I mean, you know, I'm caught up with it. And I will say, I like Hero Academia's manga. It's getting really good. I mean, even I watch the anime as well. And, you know, animation is not a problem to me. I don't see anything wrong with it, personally. That's just me, though. Now, people obviously came in there because, you know, this person was constantly attacking. This is what people had to say in response to this person complaining about the animation. It looks basically the same, but colored and animated with voice actors that try their best. Holy F. Which they do. They do. The person then continues to go on saying, get glasses. Because, oh man, that's such a strong, strong, strong response. And the person continues saying, animating is really hard, and it's really not that big of a deal. If something's a tiny bit off, or even off by a lot, it's not a war crime. It's still enjoyable to watch, and that's the point. It, the point is for it to be enjoyable to watch. The thing about it is, 
people love to watch things, right? You know, watching anime, you know, is, is something that's enjoyable for people. It helps them escape the problems of the real world, right? Because, you know, people don't want to always focus on real world problems. And, you know, either reading or watching shows or movies or anime, reading manga, you know, it helps them escape the real world problems, you know. And it's fun to be able to jump into a fantasy world and not have to worry about those problems, right? And, you know, <laughs> the thing is, this person over here is just sheerly complaining over the animation because, oh no, it's, it's not as good as the manga, how dare you, how dare you not be perfect to the manga, you know, how dare you not perfectly reflect it, that's basically the way that they see it, and, you know, here's the thing, animators over in Japan have a very hard time, because they barely make enough to even be able to keep themselves up, and it's really hard labor for them, animating, it really is, and, you know, people should be very grateful for the animation that they do. I mean, it's it's a hard task for them. And, you know, that's the thing. These people that are complaining about this don't seem to understand how hard the animators work. And they most certainly deserve respect for their hard work and dedication. I mean, they really do work hard and they don't get paid enough. They get treated miserably in the industry. That, that's true. It's so sad when these things happen. Now, this person continues going to say, it, it's still a frame, is it really animation? person continues to respond, saying, animators are people, not robots, to get every single detail perfectly. It's a still frame that probably doesn't even last for that long, not even an important frame. Another Puritan chimes in, it's not about the animators, it's about the investment. Just rewatch season two, and you'll see that quality is miles above season four. Mmm... Another person responds with, they're just practicing social distancing. And then the same person responds with, I was a fool. We stand them. And, you know, that's the thing. They don't appreciate the animation. They don't appreciate the work the animators put into this. How much blood, sweat, and tears they put into animating. And, you know, they're on a time schedule there. You know, they got to get that in there when they can. So, of course... This person continues to go on about it, having to see somebody who had to fix it, right? And they go, a queen! And then if you look at the comparison between what they did to change it up, you know, it looks more like the manga, I'll give them that. But the thing is, is that Studio Bones, I wouldn't discredit them, because they did great still. I mean, you know, I still have to give Studio Bones credit. It does look great. And I mean, hey, you know, maybe Studio Bones doesn't have that being 100% identical to the manga but it still looks good so how does that hurt the anime at all how does that look terrible i i don't see that's what i'm saying here these puritans pick whatever they can right they do whatever they can to make people who are enjoying it miserable because they themselves are miserable you know they can't be happy so they gotta bring down everybody else right they gotta just do whatever they can to make it worse and so this person continues to say if it's a still frame i expect better you know, still not enough for him. It's still, it's still not enough for him. And I can guarantee you, I guarantee you, had this been 100% spot on mirroring the manga, they still would have found something to complain about with it. Whether it still be the animation, or maybe even the characters in it, they would have found something to complain about, because they always do, right? And so, this is another scene they were mad at. So it wasn't just that one, they picked another one, and... Look at this. This person responds saying, I am pissed. Look what they did to my beautiful, beautiful boy, my favorite panel, and for what? Can't take it no more. Oh no, they're upset over this panel, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. Like, what? <laughs> how how do you find that panel bad? I don't understand. These people are nuts. They are insane. They're crazy people. Like I'm I'm not kidding. It's sheer sheer insanity. And so people continue to respond saying, "Damn, let's see y'all try to animate it next time since it pisses y'all off so much." Yeah, I would love to see that. I'd love to see that. I bet you. I bet you right now. <laughs> That it would probably look like Tumblr art. <laughs> that's, that's probably what it looked like. It wouldn't look like anything that the mangaka created. I bet it would not look like Horikoshi's work at all. I bet you. I, 
<laughs> and then they would say it's it's better, it's an improvement. Guarantee that's what they do. And people continue to say, oh, I love this hate on brats. And uh, another one said, as a One Punch Man fan, it hurts me to see complaining over this. Wish One Punch Man Season 2 looked this good, which, once it changed studios, yeah, it didn't look as good as when, you know, Madhouse did it. Which, Madhouse, I mean, then again, they're they're beautiful what they do. But still, I mean, One Punch Man, in the end, it was still animated for a second season, which, you know, it still didn't look as good, but it could have looked worse. It, it could have been a lot worse. But this person continues to say, I mean, this season of Hero Academia has dropped, but not like a lot of the other, eh, yet. We can't even mention how Seven Deadly Sins fans must feel, or Berserk fans. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, Berserk. Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that animation is bad. <laughs> I can't argue that one. Like that one, that one is really bad. But thing is, thing is, they're nitpicking over something that it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It could be far, far, far worse than what it is. But you know, this is not the first time we've seen complaints from the Puritans because, of course, you know, if you recall, you know, the Hero Academia creator Horikoshi had to change the name of a character of the scientist. Because, you know, it was a reference to WW2 crimes, right? And so, you know, because they attacked him over it, he had to change things because the Puritans got so upset. And then, of course, the Puritans, yet again, they got upset because of character birthdays. Also sharing birthdays with, uh, you know, German and Japanese World War II leaders. Thing is, if you didn't know, he was actually making those birthdays more for, you know... His favorite actors, which, you know, as I stated before when I talked about this, people's birthdays, you know, you're born whenever you're born. You don't choose that. <laughs> you know, you're going to share birthdays with people that are good and bad. That just happens, right? And then, of course, you know, Hero Academia was completely removed from China. China has banned Hero Academia because of all this stuff. You know, they completely outright banned it. So, I mean, you know, that's how bad it got. And then, of course, we can't forget. Oh man, you know, uh, sexy female characters. You know, they they can't stand Najiri Hado's breasts. They can't stand her chest at all. It's too offensive for them. They complain so hard over that one. You know, which there was nothing wrong with her breasts. But you know, hey, they they went ahead and just jumped the gun because they have to try to ruin all the fun for everybody else. You know, I can guarantee you these aren't fans. That the Puritans here that are complaining over this stuff. These are just a bunch of clowns who jump over here to try to ruin anime, and this is the way they try to do it. They try to get it censored because, oh no, they can't handle an attractive female character, or oh no, I can't handle a name, or oh no, I can't handle a birthday. <laughs> you know, they, they can't handle stuff like that. And, of course, now, animation. They can't seem to handle it if it doesn't 100% perfectly fit the manga. Well... You could say that about a lot of other anime as well. Animators try their damn well best, but of course, leave it to the Puritans to not be able to appreciate that. Leave it to the Puritans to not care about how hard the animators work, despite the working conditions they're under. You know, if it wasn't for the animators, you know, you wouldn't get an anime. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you gotta thank the animators. You know, they deserve respect. They really do. They, they deserve great respect. They, they are definitely the heroes in, in this situation. And, you know, the clown show. You know, the, the clowns never stop. I'm sure, I guarantee you, they'll find a way to attack it again because they got to find stuff like this to fight over. You know, who cares about what actually is going on with real world problems? You know, uh, fighting for other countries for freedoms of people over in other countries. Oh, no, no, let's fight the fictional battles because that's what really matters. The Puritan clown mob. Oh man, they're so stupid. <laughs> but before we go, I just want to make a couple of announcements. First off, be sure to back Raging Golden Eagle. His manga that he's making, Western manga called Blade Devil Ghost of the Past, graphic novel. Be sure to back it. It is at 1,577 backers and it has crowdfunded $111,979. It has four days left. So if you want your copy, 
pick it up now while you still can. So be sure to back Blade Devil while you still can. Also, the monthly Q&A will be up on Tuesday, so if you have any questions for me, there will be a link in the description down below you can go to. You can leave me questions there, or you could also message me on my Discord. Link is in the description down below if you'd like to join. So, you know, like I said, you have a few days left till the end of the month, and that's when the Q&A will be out. So, leave your questions while you still can. Also, if I don't have another video today, then the next video will be up on Tuesday. So I just wanted to let everyone know. Let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and make sure you are still subscribed, because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like if you enjoyed, and also be sure to share the video on social media, spread the word, and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated. It really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. It'll also keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.